Hey everyone, we're actually going to be covering two forms today. The first form we're going to be learning, you take an action verb stem and you conjugate it as if you're going to be conjugating the you form. And then you attach to that taga. This is conjugated as is. This will never be a past tense conjugation. If you see this conjugated a different way, it's not this form. So this form is used to show that two actions are happening, action A and action B. And that action B happens after action A. So first action A happens and then action B happens. So A and then B. This also shows that actions A and B happen at different locations. It shows that the two actions are happening in order. This has the feeling of not just A and B, but like A, that's the first thing, and then B. And by doing that, the usage of it is that they're in different locations. There's something else that you need to know about this form though. When you're using this form, there needs to be an object for the action verb to affect. You cannot use this form with any action verb that can't take an object. So you couldn't do this with something like tada because you're not sleeping anything. Because this form is used to show that not only action A happens and then action B happens in a different place, but that action A is doing something with a noun and then brings that noun to place B. I'll say that again. When you have a noun that's being affected by the action verb, the action verb is doing something to that noun and then moving that noun to another location where it finishes with it. When you're using this form, you're, you're carrying a noun, you're carrying something, or whoever's doing this is carrying something, bringing it to another location. You cannot say, mogodaga or ibodaga with clothes. Once you eat something, it's gone. You're not gonna be able to carry it somewhere else. You're not gonna be able to bring it to a second location. Doesn't make any sense. And you can't use ipta either for the same reason because you're just wearing your clothes. Now it's worn. You're not bringing something to someone. So you can't use it with any verbs that can't take an object, but you also can't use it with any verbs that would dispose of the object. Uh, hopefully that's clear. You can actually replace this form with so in most situations, they're not the same meaning, but logically they work the same. I don't mean so when you're using it to say because, I'm talking about so when it's used to mean and then, when it's used to connect two related actions to each other. For example, you would say, So you go to the library and you study, but by that it's saying you're not just going to the library and then later in the day you're studying somewhere. No, it's you're going to the library and you're studying and those actions are related, therefore you are studying at the library. Whereas if you said, it's just, I went to the library and then I studied and then I did this, but it's not necessarily where you did your studying. It's just listing things, this and this and this. So is only for related actions. In that, you can actually replace this taga form with so in your head. Is that to say that these forms are the same? No. Can you swap them? No. But logically you can replace this with so and it'll still make sense. Here are two forms. Sajuda, sada juda, sajuda. To buy something for someone. Sada juda. This ta is actually the same as taga. Whenever you're using any taga form, the ka is always optional. You go to sajo, buy this for me, please. You buy it for me. Sada juda, however. But this one means you're buying something, you're bringing it somewhere else, and then you're giving it to someone. It's like saying, go buy it, and then bring it here and give it to me. So go buy it for me, sada chu. Not just buying it for me, like instead of me, I don't have money, but here, I'm gonna give you money. Sada chu, go buy it for me. One more note about this. Most of the time, Korean speakers will simply use the hall form, doing something and then doing something else with that. Except in cases where using the hall form would be repetitive. I do have an example of that I'll give it to you in a few more sentences. There's one more thing you need to know about this taga form. Never use an honorific. That form I showed you in the beginning is it. In fact, if you use an honorific, it's wrong. Do not use this form here with honorifics. Now it's time to start with our sentences. This umbrella, 가져다가, comes from the verb 가지다 is to take. 
to have something, like you have it on your person, you're holding it, you're possessing it. Take this umbrella at location A, right here, take it. And then wherever you go, somewhere else. Suseo, using this emphasizes that now these two actions are happening in different places. So take it and then, Suseo, and then use it. So take this and use this. 이 우산을 가져다가 쓰세요. 저기서, over there. 물고기를 잡아다가, so catch fish, 물고기를 잡아다가 먹을까요? So shall we go catch fish and eat it here, perhaps? You want to go catch fish and come back here and eat it? Or maybe go catch fish and then go somewhere else and cook it and eat it? And what is being affected? What object is being carried from location A to location B? That is 물고기, fish. 저기서 물고기를 잡아다가 먹을까요? So shall we go there, catch fish, and then go eat it somewhere else? 하얀 민들레. So a white dandelion. 하얀 민들레를 처음 봐서 because I saw a white dandelion for my first time. 화분에 옮겨다가. So I moved it into a flower pot. So I have the flower pot and I'm moving it somewhere. 심었어요. And then I planted it. I put it into a pot and then I went and planted it. It was the first time I've ever seen a white dandelion. So I put it in a pot and moved it and planted it somewhere else. 하얀 민들레를 처음 봐서. 화분에 옮겨다가 심었어요. 동생 옷이 예뻐서 Because my younger siblings' clothes are just so pretty, I wanted them too. So what did I do? 저도 사다가 입었어요. So I also bought them at the store, location A, and then brought them, the clothes, to location B and wore them. 입었어요. 동생 옷이 예뻐서 저도 사다가 입었어요. So because my younger siblings' clothes were so pretty, they're so nice looking, I just, I wanted to have them too. So what did I do? So I bought them at the store and put them on. 동생 옷이 예뻐서 저도 사다가 입었어요. 날씨가 추워지면, when the weather gets cold, 여기서, from here, 두꺼운 이불, a thick blanket, 꺼내다가, so take it out and then, go to your room or wherever you're going to sleep, 덮으세요 and then put it on you. So when the weather gets cold, take out a thick blanket and cover yourself with it. 날씨가 추워지면 여기서 두꺼운 이불을 꺼내다가 덮으세요. So when the weather gets cold, take out a thick blanket from here and put it on. 저도 연을 갖고 싶다고 했더니 So I said that I also want to have a kite. 아빠가 바로, my dad right away after hearing that, what he did was 만들어다가 주셨어요. He went and made it and then came back 주셨어요. And then he gave it to me. I said I also wanted to have a kite, and my dad right away went and made one, and then gave it to me here. 저도 연을 갖고 싶다고 했더니 아빠가 바로 만들어다가 주셨어요. You might have already noticed, but sometimes this new form will conjugate the exact same way as the regular taga form, which is used to say while. 운동을 하러 가다가 친구를 만나서 얘기를 했어요. Which kadaga is this? Give yourself 30 seconds to think about. Don't rush. This one is while. 운동을 하러 가다가. So while going to go exercise, 친구를 만나서, I met my friend, and then 얘기했어요. We talked. There is no noun that's being carried from lo one location to another. Although it's conjugated the same way, it only means while in this example. So it'll always be clear from the context. The next form we have looks very similar, but it's conjugated differently. The way you do it is you take a verb stem and you conjugate it into the past tense. And the verb stem will always end with these. Then you attach taga. And again, the ka, as always, is optional. This form shows that action A happens before action B. However, this doesn't have to be at a different location. Not only does action A happen and then action B happens, but action A completely happens. You can think of it kind of like meaning 다 하고 나서, 다한 다음에. This form is used to show contrast between action A and action B. Often, this contrast will be something unexpected, but it doesn't have to. Contrast doesn't necessarily mean but all the time. There's also and. It's just to show, to compare two things, to show contrast between two things. Just like the regular 다가 form though, both subjects must be the same. So I did action A, and then I did action B. 학교에 갔다가 도서관에 갔어요. The first verb completely finishes. 
before starting the second verb. So you go to the school and you arrive at the school. 학교에 도착한 다음에 after you've arrived at the school. You are in school. The next thing that you do is you went to the library. I completely went to the school, so I'm done. I'm doing everything I need to do there. And then after that, after I've finished all I have to do with going to school, then, well, then I'm gonna go to the library. So after I went to school, did all my school stuff. So I went to school and then after that, I went to the library. 금방 갔다 올게요. 금방. Right away. I'm gonna finish everything I need to do there and then after that, and then I'll come back. I'm gonna be gone for a bit, but I'll be back. That's what it means. 금방 갔다 올게요. I'll be right back. I wonder, does Terminator in Korea say 갔다 올게요? I don't know. And what does he say for Asta la Vista? Does he say like, 안녕히 계세요 여러분? 그 영화관. That movie theater. I went to the movie theater. 그 영화관에 갔다가 and then after I got there, so I'm in the movie theater, maybe I finished watching a movie or maybe I'm getting ready to watch a movie, but I'm in the movie theater. 전 여자친구를 봤어요. I saw my ex-girlfriend. So I went to the movie theater and there is where I saw my ex-girlfriend. 그 영어관에 갔다가 전 여자친구를 봤어요. 카페 잠깐 들렀다가 학교로 갈까요? Shall we stop by a cafe for a bit? And you know, and get a drink and talk and then go to school? That is all of our lesson for today. Okay. By the way, my South Korean colleague says she can't remember if the Terminator says something like Tora or if it follows I will be back. Thank you again for coming and I'll see you again next time. Krom <laughs> Tamitoba.